Okay, let's discuss the chemical reactions of atoms. During chemical reactions, electrons within the atoms are either shared, given off, or taken in. Before we do chemical reactions, we have to know that when we draw the electrons in the atom, we have to take note that the first shell will consist of two electrons, the second shell will consist of a maximum of eight electrons, and the third shell will consist of a maximum of eight electrons. So if the electrons are being shared, there's going to be no change to the number of electrons in the atom because there's no electrons that are given in or taken out, and hence a molecule will be formed. If you look at this molecule that is drawn here, it's actually two oxygen atoms, but they are going to share two electrons with each other so that the outer shell will consist of the maximum of eight electrons. This is called sharing of electrons. If the electrons are going to be given away, then the total number of electrons in the atom will decrease and hence the number of protons now will be more than the number of electrons because originally the number of protons and electrons are the same but once you give away the electrons, the protons will now be more than electrons and so the whole atom is going to form a positive ion since you've got more protons now, that has a positive charge and that is going to be called the cation, C-A-T-I-O-N. Okay, so when we draw the cation, we look at the diagram at the bottom. Initially, example, we have sodium. The first shell of sodium consists of two electrons, second shell consists of eight, and the last shell consists of one electron. So in order to make the outermost electron to be a full shell that has eight electrons, it will give away one of the electrons, and hence it will form this cation with a plus one charge. When electrons are being taken in, the total number of electrons in the atom will increase, so therefore the number of electrons now is more than the number of protons, so the whole atom is going to form a negative ion called an anion. A-N-I-O-N. So if you look at this example given here, for chlorine, originally it has two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, and also seven electrons in the outermost shell. So in order to make the outermost shell have eight electrons, it will tend to gain one electron, and therefore forming this thing called ion with a negative one charge.